What would you say if I told you that by using a LoRa, you can actually speed up any of your Stable Diffusion 1.5 SDXL or SSD 1B generations. Yes, hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery, where today I explore these newly released LCM LoRa's. What is all this about then? Well, thankfully they have a little bit of a summary here. We are delighted to announce a new method which can essentially make Stable Diffusion and SDXL faster as if they had been distilled using the LCM process. How does it sound to run any SDXL model in about one second instead of seven on a 3090 or 10 times faster on a Mac? Well, I for one welcome our one second overlords. What other information do they provide? There's the contents, lots of stuff in there. There's a section on training, some example code snippets, a link to the paper, and loads of other stuff too. Probably best to browse through at your leisure for all the technical information. You'll find links and things all neatly tucked into the video description. For a super quick summary of what's going on, we can take a look at this SDXL generation down here. Fast inference with SDXL. They've got a little bit of diffusers code there. There it is. It's got a close up photography of an old man standing in the rain at night. As you can see there, number of steps four. There we go. How about that? Four steps. We've got that guy there. If we look a little bit further down as well, they've got a quality comparison once again with the code they used. Basically exactly the same thing, but it's going up from one step all the way up to a total, a massive, staggering number of steps there, eight. So no need to do 50, 25, or even 10 steps anymore. One really big thing to note is this little bit of text here, so make sure to follow their suggestion. In the previous examples, we used a guidance scale of one, which effectively disables it. This works well for most prompts, it's fastest, but ignores the negative prompts. You can explore using negative prompts by providing a guidance scale between one and two, and they found that larger values don't work. Great, okay, so we've got to use a lower guidance scale to get these four steps and the LCM scheduler. Great, but what about in automatic 1111 or comfy UI? Can you use these LoRa's there? First up is comfy UI and the Stable Diffusion 1.5 example. You can download this workflow I'm using here from the A Very Comfy Nerd website if you like, but it is very, very basic. It's just got two samplers here. The first one I'm using four steps, guidance scale one, LCM sampler, and the second one is something a bit more like you'd be used to. So 16 steps, guidance scale 7.5, and Euler normal. As you can see, the images are very, very different, and that top one is very fast to create, whereas this bottom one takes a little while for the sampler to go through. If we have a look at the performance, here we've got just four steps, and it hasn't even registered as one second. It's eight iterations a second there, so about half a second, whereas for the 16 steps, of course, that's three seconds and a much slower rate there, 4.79 iterations a second. Now, the astute amongst you might have noticed a slight difference between those two images, and a lot of that is down to the guidance scale and number of steps we're using. For example, if we crank that all the way up to eight, and we'll put the guidance scale all the way up to the suggested maximum of two, what do we get out of it then? As you can see, it's a, a much brighter image there, there's a bit more contrast, and the person is also a little bit older too. So increase the steps and increase the guidance scale a little bit more to follow your prompt. All pretty awesome so far, but what about the other samplers? Do they even work? Well, oddly enough, yes, they do, at least for this Stable Diffusion 1.5 LoRa anyway. So for example, if I drop this number of steps back down to four, we'll put a guidance scale of 1.8, and I'm gonna change the sampler to UniPC 
BH2. Now this shouldn't work because I'm not using the LCM sampler and yet there it is, a, a perfectly reasonable image. All right, that's pretty good, excellent. So this is how you can actually use it in automatic 1111 because this, this doesn't have an LCM sampler in the main branches yet, so you can't use it, but it does work with the other samplers. Which other samplers? Well, most of them, in fact, as you can see here from this XY grid. Over on the left here, we can see we've got a row with a number of steps. So steps two going all the way down to steps eight at the bottom. And across the top here, we've got each of the different samplers. From the zoomed out overview, I think it's obvious from the top row there that two steps really doesn't work out. But by eight steps, a great number of them have done quite well. Some of the ones which look good, we've got this one in the middle here, which is DPM plus plus SDE. So they're at two, three, four, and five steps, all very good representations. Another one which is good actually, quite surprisingly, is DDIM. Sure, you know, it changes a lot later on, but there at two steps, it's weird, but by three, four, and five steps, you've got some reasonable images. So that's how you can use it in Automatic 11.11. Uh, basically just pick a sampler. DPM++ SDE Karras is my suggestion. Number of steps, four guidance scale way down. You can actually put it up quite a bit. If we go up to two here in automatic using that SDE Karas sampler and four steps, once again, we get it following the prompt a little bit better. So excellent, four steps in both Comfy UI and automatic. How about for SDXL then? All right, back here in Comfy UI, let's load an SDXL checkpoint. There we've got the base. And of course we need to do the same with the LoRa. Need to pick the SDXL LCM LoRa. And now we'll remember to change this sampler name to LCM. We're gonna keep the uh, guidance scale there at 1.8 because why not? And compare the two images. Very different output here from the same prompt. As you can see, it's really picked up that I asked for a painting. The image brightness and contrast, I think seem a little better out of the box there than with 1.5, even if we drop the guidance scale all the way down to one or 1.1. And performance wise, let's have a look. We are still looking almost at sub second generation there, Four steps in one second, that's 3.7 iterations a second, roughly the same speed as the normal Euler sampler with SDXL. If we increase the number of steps to six and once again increase the guidance scale to something like 1.8, then we do get a little more clarity in that first image, although it's sort of starting to get a little bit burnt that high. Certainly the guidance scale around 1.6 is something that I prefer. And going above that, if we go all the way up to say something like 2.4, then you will get a very burnt out image indeed. There it is on 2.4, ouchies. Does that mean you can use the other samplers here too? So it will work straight away in automatic. Uh, no, unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case with SDXL. Let's put this down to something more reasonable again, like 1.6, and if we pick another sampler, let's go with UniPC and hope that this works. No, unfortunately they all turn out a little bit like that. You can try with the guidance scale even lower. Let's try another one. Let's try UniPC BH2, because usually that's really good. But once again, you just get a mess. But wait, we still have one more to try, right? That's correct, SSD1B. All right, let's have a look at this. Once again, we have to load the SSD1B checkpoint and the same with the LoRa. We'll pick the SSD1B LCM LoRa there. Remember to set these back. So I'm going to four steps, guidance scale one, LCM sampler, and let's compare these images. Wow, I think I actually prefer the LCM version over the normal Euler. All right, okay, let's let's have a look at the performance for this one as well. So we've got 
four steps coming in at nine iterations a second almost, whereas that is all the way down at six iterations per second. So that means if it's that fast, I can put that all the way up to eight steps and it will probably still be sub second. There it goes, eight steps, nine iterations a second, less than one second to generate an SDXL image 1024 by 1024. Surely this one works with other samplers too, and hence automatic. Please, something has got to work on automatic. I mean, okay, I guess, kinda, it will generate images. Let's pick another one here. We'll go with the D-DIM, we'll, we'll be nice to it. We'll try and give it a slightly higher guidance scale. How does this turn out? Well, I mean, I guess it, it's it's generated an image for sure, but they're all sort of cartoony. Let's try again with Euler. Will it be the same sort of thing? Yes, it will. Yes, they, they all sort of come out this weird burnt color. But hey, uh, didn't I say earlier this works with Animate Diff? Does that mean I can make AI generated videos really quick? Because I'm struggling with the speed at the moment. Uh, why, yes, yeah, yes, you can. Here it is. So obviously you can see the quality isn't quite as good there, but uh, it takes 17 seconds to generate those 60 frames. Four steps, once again, the guidance scale one, LCM config. We'll, we'll queue up another one just to show you. And there she is wobbling around. How long did that one take? Let's take a look. Uh, yep, 17 seconds, 4.4 seconds per iteration. Sure, there's a few errors, but as you can see, it kind of seems to work. Wow, that is pretty good. And it's got IP adapter in there as well. So this LoRa really does seem very, very compatible. So there you go, three LoRas, SDXL 1.5, and even SSD 1B for super fast sub second generations. Absolutely amazing. Much like this next Nerdy Rodent video.